Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Talia, aka The Classroom Doc. I wanted to talk to you about uh, another one of the preservatives that I mentioned in my book, The Confident Food Shopper. Listen up especially if you take vitamin C supplements or if you take any supplements in a liquid form, but also if you have any kind of sauces or liquidy stuff that you use at home, which it's really going to apply to everybody. So listen up for everybody. This is about sodium benzoate. It's a very common preservative, and liquid products tend to have preservatives in it. Uh, in fact, um, it's interesting, a lot of people think when they come to the health food store, they want to buy liquid supplements because they say they're better absorbed. But there's so much more to you know the choice between a liquid and a pill um, than that issue. Uh, which is the extra ingredients that are added into liquids to flavor them, to color them, to preserve them. And the issue of absorption is also, that's a gross oversimplification. But if you have any kind of liquid supplement, grab it and have a look if you have sodium benzoate in it. Or I'm just going to name a few products here in the uh, store that I saw that had sodium benzoate. There's so many, but um, uh, La Choy and Kiko Man's Teriyaki and Soya Sauce. Um, selection brand pickled onions, pickled rings, um, Life Smart strawberry, blackberry, and acai, acai spread. So those are just to name a few. So the thing with sodium benzoate is when sodium benzoate is combined with vitamin C, which you might see in the ingredients as ascorbic acid, it can form a carcinogenic byproduct, meaning cancer-causing. And this was enough of an issue that some, quite a while back, the FDA, which is the a regulatory body in the United States of America, they red flagged a whole bunch of products that companies were using where those numbers were too high. There were those carcinogenic byproducts were found in their products and had them make adjustments to either the sodium benzoate or the vitamin C. But the catch here is even if there's no vitamin C in your product, who doesn't take vitamin C supplements? I mean, many people take supplements. And there are other sources of vitamin C other than what's in the product that you're using. So I was in the store the other day, and um, I picked up a liquid iron. I'm not going to mention the company. Just go and look at your products. And this liquid iron had sodium benzoate in it. And the reason this alarmed me is because many people are told when they take iron supplements to take vitamin C with them because uh, vitamin C enhances the utility and absorption of iron, which is true. However, this is a big problem and these people may be at risk just for doing that uh, because of the sodium benzoate. So my bottom line is, I mean, I just, I don't buy anything with sodium benzoate in it whatsoever. Uh, products that tend to have that preservative tend to have, you know, to me, a bit, it's just a red flag that the company's not quality conscious uh, in the first place, uh, for the most part. That's, you know, a bit of a generalization perhaps, but uh, I definitely would just avoid it. But if you don't want to switch your product, then please be mindful of if you're taking vitamin C supplements, um, or even if you're just eating it around a meal that's high in vitamin C, there, there are different sources. All right, well, hopefully that you found that helpful, and I uh, look forward to you tuning in next time. For information about Dr. Charney's seminars, webinars, and certified HealthSmart programs, visit theclassroomdoc.com, email info at theclassroomdoc.com, or call 416-642-0727.